So in this video, I'm going to talk about something that you should avoid in FIFA Mobile right now. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. We've got the Founders event right now, of course, where you can go ahead and get scouting points. And with those scouting points, you can either save them to get 115 overall or 114 overall. Enzo Fernandez and Impazzo, who are pioneer players that you should definitely do, by the way. Don't go for 118 overall, Roberto Firmino or Madison, of course. But also, you can go ahead and open these packs right here. As I said a lot of times before, you should first of all go for Enzo Fernandez and Impanzo just because they are, uh, they are the guaranteed pioneer players. And then you should spend the rest of them um, on these packs right here. But also, with that, we've got milestone matches. So matches, you can obviously get some more uh, scouting points as well as uh, you can get captain armband. And with those captain armband, you can go on and get another guaranteed uh, pioneer player. 116 overall for this season, but for the next season, you can get 89 overall Gerard or 88 overall Raul or Zanetti. These ones you should, do, you should obviously do. You should go ahead and play these milestone matches. If you haven't played them yet, you can still do it until the end of the event, I guess, but make sure to play them uh, right now because like you, uh, you're, it's gonna take a long, long time from you if you play all these matches at the same time, right? Make sure to play them uh, regularly, I guess, just like I've done right now, and you should be good to go. And obviously, you should go ahead and play this daily and weekly uh, bonus as well. You got the quest where you can get some more uh, scouting points in weekly quests if you complete all the daily quests five times a week, as well as if you, if you complete the daily quest, you can also get some more scouting points. All that is very, very necessary to do to get the most rewards. But the thing that I'm talking about in this one is the exchanges. If you go ahead and uh, get into the exchanges, we've got a lot of these exchanges. You should, you should go ahead and put your untradeable cards to get some club points. And then with those club points, you can open these packs where you've got a chance to pack um, some pioneer players. But what I would suggest you to do is I would not suggest you to uh, spend your coins right now on these club points. Because, for example, if you go ahead and buy a 119 overall player, to put into this exchange and get 2500 point, uh, club points you can open like two of these 116 to 117 overall uh, player packs and with that you got a very very low chance probably to get pioneer player but if you don't get a pioneer player then you're not getting anything good because you can't actually sell those cards in the market 116 and 117 overall cards are very very hard to sell in the market i'm gonna go ahead and show that to you right now i did manage to sell two Kulibalis back um, a couple of weeks ago or 10, 10 days ago maybe but right now to sell any of those 117 or 116 overall cards are gonna be very very hard as you can see with Alvarez there are a lot of uh, listings 400 to 500 uh, player people trying to list those cards for 116s 117s for money there is eight there are 800 listings almost as you can see I did pack money and I did not manage to sell him so he's just in my team just like Traore Traore is no Traore is actually not in my team because I went ahead and put him into club point exchange and got some more club points so yeah don't open those packs right now because I feel like they're gonna give us something else to spend club points on I guess and there there might be like guaranteed pioneer player packs just like we've had with one of them right here uh, where you, you where we needed like 1500 club points I believe we might get some this uh, this type of exchange as well and if you don't spend your club points right now, the way you're not missing out on anything because at the end, if they don't give out, the, if they don't give out any other way to spend our club points, you can, you can go ahead and do the six changes at the end. Other way, just make sure to save your club points um, until the end of the event at length, and there might be something better you can spend it on, some better packs, better exchanges, or if not, you can still do those exchanges, the ones that you want right now. But if you pack anyone. No, from this pack even 114 to 115 overall if you don't pack a pioneer player it's 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 an l because if you pack a pioneer player you can't sell him but you're gonna get the version of that card next season if you don't pack a pioneer card you can sell that card either way because they're not gonna you're not gonna be able to sell those cards because obviously there are a lot of other people trying to sell those cards so that's what i would do don't buy like uh don't buy founder players high overall players and put them into exchange to get club points right now either because you're not you're not gonna get anything crazy uh, from these packs other than pioneer cards that uh, that you've got a chance to prefer but not a very very high chance anyways other than founder cement we've also got the mystery signing cement of course you can go on and claim your first reward now 108 overall player pack or 108 to 110 overall player pack i got 109 overall lobotka right there 
no, no great. Bam, at the end, you're gonna get 114 overall prime icon, which is obviously gonna be prime central back Nesta. And with, uh, when you get when you claim that Nesta card, you can also claim 116 overall uh, pack. Uh, it is a retro star pack, right? It's a retro star player, I believe. Um, it is retro star Neymar, Rudiger, Vinicius Jr., Zanetti, Oluwairan, or Waller. I would definitely take any one of them except um, Waller. It's a 116 overall pack, so it's definitely not bad. I'll take either of them, I guess. Um, Central back Rudiger is gonna be good though for me. But let me know which player you want to pack from that. But just like I did yesterday, I want to end this video by opening a guaranteed 108 plus overall player pack from challenge mode because I've seen a lot of people get decent rewards from challenge mode. Not me personally, but let's go ahead and play a match and hopefully I'm going to get a decent reward. Obviously, I'm not going to show you this match live because it's not going to be, it's going to be quite boring. All right, then I have won the match as you can see right there and let's see who we're going to pack from this pack hopefully a walkout at least because i haven't got a walkout yet from any of the challenge mode matches and i'm pretty sure i played almost every single day uh challenge mode or maybe i missed like uh three or four days but it's at least almost every single day i played that so give me a walkout to start it off still no walkout 110 overall sima still a very very bad card that i got obviously i'll take the 70 club points that i got uh, those club points are quite valuable, but still, come on now. Give me at least one walkout from any of these. I'm not getting lucky from any of the challenge mode matches or challenge mode rewards, but some people are getting very, very lucky. Let's go ahead and put... Oh, I can't even put that card in this one because it's 110 overall. I guess I'm going to put him in that one then and get, hopefully, some coins. Maybe 22 million coins, but it's going to be 5 million. Minimum, we got 5 mil. No luck from that one either. We got... Now, do we have any tradable ones? I do have two tradable ones. Let's go ahead and end this video by, by doing this then. 11 million coins from Gomez. Adam Traore is going to be put in there as well. And he gave me 11 mil again. So no luck from this one either. Yeah, I, I really, really expected to get something decent from Challenge Mode Rewards. But I never get it. I never get it. I expect it because some other people are getting quite lucky from them. But me personally, I'm not really getting lucky as you can see. Anyways, that's gonna be the end, I guess. I want to just get um, more than minimum amount at least once uh, from any of these coin exchanges. Am I gonna get it? Doesn't really look like it, does it? It does not really look like it. Yeah, um, as you can see, I've got one uh, 21 overall Onana in my team. I've got three Pioneer players right now. I've got Chiesa, Onana, and I've got 114 overall Mukuku. Mukuku and uh, Chiesa were the guaranteed ones. Chiesa was from the guaranteed exchange pack. Uh, Onana was the only non guaranteed one that I got. Hopefully, I'm gonna gain the Fernandez uh, as well as one of the icons and 115 overall in Panzu. That's gonna be six that I'm gonna get, and hopefully, I'm gonna pack some uh, some more Pioneer players. Anyways, that's gonna be the end for today's video. Then make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and peace.